Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to discuss input and outputs on VAV box controls. I'm going to specifically talk about DDC controls, but analog and pneumatic boxes have the same inputs and outputs. If you remember from one of my early podcasts, DDC stands for Direct Digital Control, and DDC controls are the most common types of controls you see on VAV boxes these days, or really any HVAC equipment. They make up over 90% of the controls we mount on Titus bo- VAV boxes. So as a refresher, the controller is the brains of the VAV box. It takes the set point and space temperature from the thermostat and the airflow information from the VAV box and decides what the box needs to do, open or close the damper, turn on heat and so on, to maintain comfort in the space. So how does it take this information from the thermostat and VAV box and how does it adjust the box for comfort? This is where inputs and outputs come in. So let's break the operation of a VAV box and thermostat and label the inputs and outputs. So the thermostat has a set point and the thermostat measures space temperature. So these are both inputs to the controller. And the VAV box's flow sensor is sending a pressure signal to the controller, so that's also an input. The controller is controlling the actuator that moves the dampers and the water valves that control the water coil. And if it's a fan box, it's turning the fan on and off and possibly modulating the fan if you get really fancy with your control sequence. So all of these are outputs from the controller. Let me make a little room here. DDC controls have two types of inputs and outputs analog and digital, which is also known as binary. We'll start with digital. Digital inputs and outputs are two position, usually on off. Whereas analog inputs and outputs can be anywhere within a continuous range. Think about how an analog clock hand sweeps between the minutes, but a digital clock is always on a particular minute. So if we look at our inputs and outputs here, The set point and space temperature would be analog inputs to the controller because they could be any temperature. And the pressure signal from the box's flow sensor could be any pressure, so it would also be an analog input. The signal to the actuator and water valves would be analog outputs from the controller because they could be a wide range of positions. Turning the fan on and off would be a digital output, but modulating the fan would probably be an analog output. Some more examples, stages of electric heat would be digital outputs. You would turn each stage on and off. But proportional heat, like our Linergy heater, would be an analog output. And then on the input side, an occupancy sensor would be a digital input to the controller. It would say whether it is occupied, yes or no. So that's just a few of the inputs and outputs, both digital and analog, that you can have on a VAV box. Because there are a lot of box possibilities, control manufacturers often make a couple different DDC controls for different VAV boxes. If you have a single duct box that has no reheat or no fan, then you don't want to pay more for a controller with lots of inputs and outputs that you're not going to be using. On the flip side, if you have the wrong controller for your box, you may not have enough input and outputs to control all the points you need to. So that covers DDC control inputs and outputs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.